Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. All praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which is to say in the Paleo Hebrew, Yahweh, which is the name of our Heavenly Father, meaning He is, Bahashem, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, meaning He is our salvation. To the so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans here in the Western Hemisphere, and to the rest scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth who looked like the other nations, but through the patrilineal lineage go back to the Hebrew Israelites. We got next. Okay? We got next. Okay? And this is another exhortation to remind you to keep going because we got next. We are up next. And we're going to rule forever under Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So just keep pushing until the end. Okay? This is Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 10 and the Apocrypha, and verse 4. And it reads The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. And this is the time that we're waiting for when the Most High put, put us in charge over this earth. We're going to be profitable, okay? Under the, you know, teachings and guides of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh the earth is going to be in a profitable state because now it is completely ran to the dirt, okay? And it's been you know, ran this way so you can see the difference between, you know, a profitable ruler and a non-profitable ruler because this rulership that's, you know, going throughout the earth, you can see the vibration is wicked. Okay? So we got next and we're going to rule forever. Okay? So this is Ecclesiasticus chapter 10 and verse 4. It says, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord and in due time okay in due time that's what we waiting on this everything has an, everything has its appointed time so in due time he will set over it one that is profitable okay and that's going to be under the you know elect you know starting with Yahweh shot and you know on down, you know, the 144,000, okay? The earth is going to be a profitable, you know, ruler under rulership, all right? So just keep, you know, going and keeping, you know, your faith strong into that time because we got next, okay? Now, this is Second Ezra. Let's go there. In verse 6, chapter 6, Salakia, excuse me. So this is 2nd Ezra chapter 6 <clears throat> in verse 9. And it reads, for Esau is the end of the world, okay? And that's the person who's currently in control. This is the last heathen that is going to rule before we take over the earth and it becomes profitable. Because under this man's rulership, everything is off. Up is down. Left is right. Everything is just off kelter. Okay? So under this man's rulership, the earth is thrown off, man. That's why we have to be put back into authority and set things right. Okay? And it's going to be profitable. All right? So under this man's rulership, the whole earth is under, uh, you know, a, sat a satanic vibe. All right, and it's getting worse as we get closer to the end. All right, so it says, For Esau, the so called white man, is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. We are the ones that's going to make this earth profitable, you know, and it's going to set things back all right. All right, because as it currently sits, like I said, under this heathen, you know, dictatorship or rulership, or however you want to say, you know, everything is off kilter, like up is down, down is up, right is left, left is right. Okay. 
and it's been done purposely. So you can see the difference between one that is ran right and one that is ran wrong, okay? And this man is, you know, steadily getting exposed, okay? So his time is coming to a, a, a halt, you know, coming to a close where he's going to have to give it up. And this is all according to prophecy. So let's read this one more time before we go to the next verse. For Esau is the end of the world, right? So this is the end of this rulership, this wicked rulership. The earth was given into the hand of the wicked, okay? It says, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, okay? And pursuant to what we read in Ecclesiasticus 10 and 4, it's going to be ran under a profitable ruler, okay? The earth is going to be ran under, prof under a profitable ruler. So we got next, you know, just keep fighting and keep the faith strong until the end, all right? Now, this is Psalm 75, and we're going to take it at verse 7, I believe. All right, this is Psalm 75, and we're going to go down to verse 7, and it reads, But the Most High is the judge. He putteth down one and setteth up another. Right. So he's getting ready to put this man down, and he's getting ready to set up another, which is who? You know, the Israelites. Okay? We getting ready to take over and put this earth back into his proper, uh, you know, his proper perspective. Okay? Because as it currently sits now, it's under a wicked vibration. All right. So this earth needs, you know, recalibrating. OK. And when we get back in opposition of power, once the Most High put us back in opposition of power, this earth will be profitable under our rulership. All right. Beginning with our Lord and Savior, our shot. All right. So this is all part of prophecy. So let's read that again. Psalm 75, 7. But the Most High is the judge, okay? He determines. He putteth down one and setteth up another, right? So he's getting ready to put down this one that's currently ruling right now as the last heathen, you know, which is Esau. We read that in 2 Ezra. And then what? He's going to set up another, you know, Jacob, who's going to be the one that's going to put this earth under a vibration where it's going to be more profitable, okay? So it says, for in the hand of Yahweh, there is a cup and the wine is red. It is full of mixture and he poureth out of the same, but the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. Right. And when he put down this wicked rulership, all these heathens that had the opportunity to rule, they're going to have to drink that same dregs. Okay. And beginning with Esau, Edom, he going to drink it the worst. Okay. You know, it says double his cup, you know, pursuing the Revelation 18, okay? All these other countries, they're going to, you know, bring, they're they going to get it. You know, they're going to give Esau double, okay? So it says, and the earth shall wring them out and drink them, verse 9. But I will declare forever, I will sing praises to the power of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked also will I cut off. Right. And those are all the rulerships, you know, of Edom. Okay. You know, Rome, uh, Germany, all of them. They all going to be cut off. Okay. After they serve a thousand years, that's going to be it. They're going to be uh, exterminated off the face of the earth. as soon as Obadiah 1 and 18. Okay. But the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Right. The 12 tribes are going to be exalted throughout the earth, okay? We're going to take back the kingdom, okay? And that's in Daniel 7 and 18. Let's go there. This is Daniel chapter 7 and verse 18. And it reads, But the saints, who are the saints? The saints are those who keep, you know, the law, statute, commandments, and judgments of the Most High. And who was given to that? Israel, pursuant to Psalms, 20, uh, Psalms 147, 19, and 20. Let's go there. This is Psalms 147, 
and 20, he showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation, and for his judgments they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh. So the saints are only of the children of Israel, okay? So going back to Daniel chapter 7 and verse 18, where it reads, But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Right? Because when we are back in under rulership, that's going to be it. It's going to be eternal. That's why the earth is going to be profitable. Because there's never going to be another heathen to rule. Okay? And that's going to throw off the earth. Okay? This is the last rulership. And this is the last one ran by Esau Edom, the so-called white man, the wicked, pursuing a Job 9 and 24. Let's go there. This is Job chapter 9 and verse 24. And it says, the earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. He cover the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Okay. And just do a monocle, you know, research. Just type in Jesus under the search engine Google and see what the, you know, face looked like. The judge looked like. It's going to look like Esau. Do the same thing with Moses. Do the same thing with Paul. Okay. All these that Esau took and made it in the likeness of his image. He changes the faces of the judges thereof. You don't see any other nation that has the images under their likeness outside of Esau Edom. Okay. So it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He cover the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Okay. You can't tell me it's nobody none other than Esau Edom, the so-called white man. All right. That's, that's why he's blaspheming against the Holy Spirit. That's why he won't be found any forgiveness. That's why after he served his thousand years in captivity and slavery, he has to be eradicated. All right? And that's why the earth is under the vibration now. And that's why it's going to be profitable once we take over. Okay? Because we're going to have an everlasting rulership under our Lord and Savior, Yahweh All right? The earth is going to be profitable. That's what we read in Ecclesiasticus 10 and 4. All right. But it's now being ran by the wicked. That's why things are getting worse as we come closer to the end. All right. And that's good for us because that's the sign that we getting ready to take back the kingdom. Okay. We're going to possess it forever and ever. Okay. So th just expect things to get you know, wrapped up as we get closer to those, you know, growing pains to the end. All right. Just know what is, what's coming around the corner. Be prepared. Keep the faith strong because we got next. All right. So this is all part of prophecy. All right. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked and then he's going to put down one and set up another that is profitable and that other is going to be the last kingdom to rule for eternity, which is going to be ran by the Israelites with our Lord and Savior, Yahweh shot at the Him running everything, okay? And then under Him is going to be the 144,000, all right? So just know that we are almost there. So keep going. Keep your faith strong. Stay in the truth. Continue to keep these commandments to the best of your ability, Rehearsing the righteous acts, you know, and we're going to make it. Those of us who are of the elect, you know, we're going to endure to the end. All right. And pray that we and you be part of that number. If it be the Lord's will. So this is. Uh, that's Job 9 and 24. And, you know, you can go to. Let's see, Isaiah, let's 
5 and chapter 20, it says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. And this is Esau, okay? That's why it's woe, destruction. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. That's how he confuses people. He mixes things up. Okay, that's why Job told you the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right, and that's why he's getting ready to be put down and we're getting ready to be exalted. Okay, through our Lord and Savior, our shot, he's getting ready to expose this man. All right, and we have to be prepared in the spirit. Okay, so we are keeping this faith and we are praying that we endure to the end so that we may receive salvation and deliverance. Out of this place, Babylon the Great, which is America. All right. So it says, woe to them that what? Call good evil and evil good. Woe to them that call evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Okay. And that's this man, you know, M.O. That's what he does, man. It says, woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. And that's the mentality of Esau. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine and men of strength to mingle strong drink. Okay, and that's why they're going to have to drink all the, the, the dregs of that cup of indignation, of wrath. They're going to have to drink it all. 23, which justify the wicked for reward. And take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. Right. And that's how he incentivizes our people. By rewarding them for their wickedness. Okay. That's why you can get the bag if you rap about murdering your brother. Or degrading your sister. You know. You can get. You know. Rewarded handsomely for that. Okay. So this man is on his last leg man. He's in the, he is in the last stand of his kingdom, okay? He's getting ready to be taken down by our Lord and Savior, Yahweh okay? And we got next, all right? So just keep going and just keep the faith strong and, and pray that you endure to the end, all right? So we're going to go ahead and close out on 1 Peter 5 and 9, and we're going to take it from there. Okay, this is 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 9. Of Slakia, verse 8. And it reads, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Let's read a little bit of 9. Who resist, who resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world? Right, so we all got to endure to the end. You know, if we are of that number, the elect, you know, we pray that we endure to the end because we know this heathen, this, you know, devouring, you know, what does it say? This roaring lion, you know, he's looking and he's walking about seeing whom he, whom he may devour because he know he have but a little bit of time for his kingdom is done with. So he's looking to get as many as he can, knowing that his time is coming to an end all right and we got next so we got to continue to fight for this okay so that's why we have to be sober and vigilant wisdom and knowledge wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our time all right so we have the truth now okay so now we are exposed to who this you know man of this son of perdition is all right so now we know all about him. We know he's the wicked. He's been, you know, he's been pointed out. So he got to come with whatever it is that he got. And, you know, we got to be prepared in the spirit for when that move is being made. All right. So that's why we have to continue to be sober and be vigilant. All right. So I pray someone was edified with this lesson. And until the next time, if it be the Lord's will, stay strong, stay in the faith. We almost home. Shallow one.